Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I figured in today's video we would do some um, little freebies. So in every order through my Etsy shop, um, you get a little freebie bag. And I'm running dangerously low on these guys. So I need to create little tiny gifts to put into these little freebie bags. So they could be anything as um, like the little paper clips. I do have a bunch of these on the shop as well but uh they can be anything from this or stickers or um cards or anything like that but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to grab a handful of um just kind of things that i don't normally use because i think that's a great way to utilize these particular things and i'm just grabbing a couple things here i'll save that one um, but I think that's a great way to use up pieces that you don't normally use. So this one is actually just a huge bag of nautical stuff. Bloop. Bloop. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start grabbing little tiny doilies here and see what fits. So... And then something just as simple as that can be used on many, many, many different things. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm going to use, um, you know, I think I'm going to use the PVA glue. All right. PVA glue is really awesome for different textures. Um, wood, plastic, you know, whatevs. fabric, cotton, doilies, yeah, that stuff. All right, so there's one. But basically, we're going to spend the next few minutes just kind of creating small things like this because I need new freebies, <laughs> and I don't have any. So I'm not going to get, like, two, two terribly large pieces but I do want them large enough that my item doesn't get swallowed up. Or that my doily doesn't get swallowed up by my item. And I'm putting the glue on the wooden piece instead of the doily. So anyway, how are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing well. I know that these times are definitely trying times for a lot of people. The beginning of the year is trying in so many different ways. Financially, I mean, it's always rough after a big holiday, especially like Christmas. So I hope everyone is doing well and maintaining their stress levels. <laughs> Don't get too stressed out. We don't want any of that. Um, and then there's also some that have just like a flower in there. A little flower. And you can just kind of put those with the other guys there. Just want to make sure I'm still in frame. I'm not like spending too much time working on, oh, that's cute. I'm going to take this off though, because this is a little square dot or a squared something or another. It actually doesn't want to come off. Lego! Lego my ego! Okay, really? Okay. All right. It's a boom boom. Nah, that's cute. And I'm just going to use up this bag. I have a whole nother bag of these wooden pieces. I'm just going to use up this bag. I don't know where I got them from. I got them 
um, probably about three years ago ish, four years ago, something like that. I got them a while back. We were still in Washington at the time, so, and we've been here for two years. So, oh my gosh, we only have a year left here. I can't believe it's been that that quick. It seems like just yesterday we just moved here. Crazy. It's crazy, I tell you. Maybe I should be playing with my tweezers. Be easier. So I don't throw them all over the place. Okay, get off there. And I normally do put the lid to my tweezers inside the uh, little container the tweezers go in. That way I don't lose it. But yeah, this is probably what I'm going to be doing all day today. Um, I really wanted to start playing with my jewelry again, but uh, I, I really, I'm almost out of these guys. So I really, really, really need to get these done. Because I don't like making them as the orders come in. Um because then I feel stressed and I don't like feeling stressed. It is not, that one's broken. It is not a fun feeling. So what are you guys working on? I know a lot of people are talking about D stashes. Uh, there's like three or f four or five people talking about D stashes. Uh, just a quick reminder that if you are looking for some place to post D stash information, you can absolutely use my group for that. Um, there for a long time, I know I was very, um, anti-sales in my group, <laughs> but, um, I have since swapped back to my original, um, concept of what the Facebook group, I want the Facebook group to be, which is supporting each other in the community. And if that means that you know, you're advertising and sharing information for other people, then that's what I want my Facebook group to be. I mean, sure, it's got my name on it and my name is a brand and I get that. But ultimately, I just, I want to be, I just want to be supportive. <laughs> and I think not allowing people to post certain things in your Facebook group, if you have one, because not everybody has one, but if you have that platform, um, I just, I feel like that is one of the best ways that I know how to be supportive of other people. It doesn't cost any money. It doesn't take any time away from, you know, your job, your family, your responsibilities. It's something that is free to do. And I have that capability of doing that. So I want to do that. And I'm not saying that everyone should do that. I'm saying that that's how I've, I want to show my support. Other people show support in other ways, which is perfectly fine. There is no right or wrong answer. I think everybody has their own way of doing things, which is absolutely amazing. And we're going to put this right there and I think that's absolutely amazing 
I think the important part is that regardless of how, I think that supporting each other is important. However, that is accomplished. And like I said, that is just one way that I personally can show my support. You know? So I just wanted to make sure that that was out there because I know a lot of people, have, especially a lot of people that watch my channel, um, a lot of people have, uh, thank you, um, small businesses or online shops or, you know, they sell online, whether it's uh, YouTube, Facebook or whatever. And they used to like to post in my group. But um, I have noticed that the activity level in my group dropped out, like it bottomed out. It just flat out bottomed out. As soon as I put that rule in effect, it was just like, and it was, it was really kind of ironic how it worked out too, because like all of the posts before weren't like, come look at my shop or come look at my sale or anything like that. There were a lot of people posting about the, the crafts that they were doing and the things that they were doing and, you know, positivity and this, that, and another. Um, but once I put that rule into effect, like you can't, um, I don't want you, whatever. It's like all activity stopped completely. And so I was just like, and I think what that, what that showed me was that it is important to support our community. That's what it showed me. It showed me that you, you've, I have always known in my heart of hearts that no matter what happens in life, you get what you give. Good, bad, pretty, ugly, it doesn't matter. And when you give restrictions so heavily, at least my group, how I felt, when I restricted the group so heavily, it was definitely shown back to me that that was not appreciated. So, that being said, I am making it very known, very public, that I want you to share your groups. I want you to share your sales. I want you to share your Etsy shops. And, you know, if you have a special promotion going on and you want to spread the word, then utilize my group because I want everyone in my group to support each other. If you have a craft coming up that you want to try and you need ideas, then post it in the group. Somebody is going to be like, you know what? I've seen something like that. Here, try this. Or, you know, whatever the case may be, I just, I want it to be more supportive like it was when I first started. Oh my gosh, for you guys that have been with me for so long, do you remember when I first started my group? We actually had a, um, a calendar in the group. Now I had my own calendar that was sitting on my desk, but we had a calendar of every single sale on YouTube. Well, that we knew about. Obviously, we couldn't post the ones that we didn't know about. But but now, I kind of took a little break. Now, I will say also that the activity level dropped off before my break. So, a lot of people are probably thinking, well, Natasha, you kind of took a little break for about four months. And you're absolutely right. I did. Because I just, I needed that break for myself. And you're absolutely right. I did, but the activity level dropped off before that. It was well before that. And so I know that it wasn't my break that caused it. It was, it was the restriction. And I can't say that I blame anybody except for myself because I shouldn't have done that. And you know what? You always learn from things that you do in life. Good, bad, ugly, pretty, whatever. You always learn. And that is something that I learned. It is more important to support other people 
um, thank you again. But it is more important to support other people. Now, does that mean that you put other people first before yourself? No, not, not at all. But if it's a choice between me personally, if it's a choice between being like, I don't want to say self-centered because I feel like that's a bad word, <laughs> but society has deemed that a bad word. Um, just like they have deemed a lot of things bad words, like being a snob. Being a snob is a bad thing. I am a snob. I am a very, very big snob. There are many things in my world that I have to have a certain way. Uh, for instance, and this is my, this is my favorite, <laughs> paper towels. Anybody have to have a certain brand of paper towels or toilet paper? That's another one. Well, I guess today's age, uh, you kind of get what you get. because you, you can't afford to be a snob because they may not have any toilet paper, nevertheless the one you want. But anyway, I like using that one for an example because that's probably the one I've been a snob about the, the longest was uh, paper towels. And see, my husband is a snob with toilet paper. I'm sure he really cares about me telling you guys, but I'm just saying. He likes Charmin. He doesn't care which one, but it has to be Charmin. I like Viva paper towels. Except in my craft room, um, I go through paper towels way, way too fast for me to use Viva paper towels in my craft room. That ain't gonna happen. Nope, nope. Um, like something stuck in here. But anyway, I don't know. I just, I feel like, I feel like the world has forgotten how to support other people other than themselves. And it's really hard in times like this because it's like you have to look out for yourself. And you absolutely do. But looking out for yourself doesn't mean that you forget your neighbors. And I just want to remind people, I forgot my neighbors. And that's okay because it makes us human. That means that we've made mistakes. And I want to say that, yeah, I did forget my neighbors. I did forget that supporting one another was important. Because supporting one another doesn't mean I say I support you. That's not supporting you. Supporting one another doesn't mean that I buy everything in your store. That's not supporting you. That's, that's spending all of my money. But, I mean, that's, that is a way of support, sure. But it means more through actions. There's a phrase, actions speak louder than words. And that is so, so, so very true. And that is something that is very important to remember, especially in times like these, because people will say all kinds of things about how, you know, They'll say things that they think you want to hear. But that may not be how they really feel. Like, I've, have you ever ran into somebody who is really mean and nasty, but in a nice way? Because they'll say things that are super duper sweet and nice. And then they'll turn around and do something that is completely contradictory of what they just said. So it is just important to me 
that I won, I tell you guys, I, I want to support everyone who is part of my Facebook group, who has taken the time out of their day to support me by watching my videos, by commenting on my videos, by liking my videos and sharing my videos, by coming into my Etsy shop and leaving me feedback, by coming into my Etsy shop and just looking around. Just looking around does so much for my shop. You don't even have to buy anything. Just look at it. And that in and of itself means a lot to me. And so I want to say thank you. And I want to say that I want to support you guys too. And my doing of that is please post in my group. You want to share your brand new YouTube? Post it in my group. I have actually shared a couple brand new YouTubes because they're, they're good friends of mine. They're very sweet people. And, you know, they're trying to get off their feet on YouTube. And I had someone do that for me. And it's just, it's repaying the kindness. And I had someone do that for me and it helped me a lot. I was able to get up off of, you know, my my bum and do things. But it's nice to have support. Do we need it? Nope. Just like we don't need someone to validate our actions. I don't need people to tell me that I'm nice. I'm actually the first person to tell you I'm not nice. A lot of people laugh at me and they're just like, but you're so nice. No, I'm not. I'm honest. And I'm an overall good person. There are a lot of people in this world that would disagree with that. I don't care. I did. Last year around this time? Oh, absolutely I cared. Absolutely. I cared that, you know, Joe Bob didn't like me. I cared that Mary Sue was mad at me. I cared that, you know, somebody so-and-so gave me a, a dirty look or, um, you know, they talked behind my back or whatever. I don't care now. And that's the difference between now and then. I'm not the same person I was last year. I think a lot of people that have been with me for a while know that. Um, I've grown exponentially and I, I know there are people that don't like me. They, there are people that don't like my positivity. There are people that don't like the fact that I'm so opinionated and outspoken about my opinions. There are people that don't like the fact that I'm honest because they only want to hear the honesty if it's what they want to hear. Or if it's nice. There's a lot of people that don't like me. But that's okay. Because that's their right. And that's what makes us all special. Is we are all so incredibly different. And we all have different opinions. And we all do different things. And we all see the world differently. And that's what makes it so beautiful. Even the people that don't like me. They are part of the beautiful world we live in. Been sitting here ranting and raving and preaching and all kinds of stuff for the last 25 minutes. I ain't nobody said nothing to me. Trump chop. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so um, I actually have been thinking. And first of all, if you've made it this far in the video, Kudos. <laughs> um, I applaud you on that and thank you very much for that because it is very, very helpful. That watch time is real helpful. Um, but Wayne and I have been talking. For those of you who don't know, Wayne is my husband. And we were talking about doing live sales again. 
Not like we were doing, but different. I will still have and maintain my, my shop. My shop will be my top priority as far as my business goes. I will not pull items from my Etsy shop. I will not stop posting things on my Etsy shop. And I will not work twice as hard on the YouTube sales than my Etsy shop. And I'll tell you why. Because on my YouTube sales, generally speaking, and this isn't anything to do with YouTube in general, it's just people. I'm the same way. You want to pay as little as possible. And that is fine. But with my YouTube sales will come a certain customer service that will be lacking comparatively to my Etsy store. You will not get a full detailed invoice like you do with the Etsy. You will not get a... Um, like all the goodie bags, you won't get the goodie bags because I don't know how often I'm going to be doing them, but I don't think I am going to be capable of dishing out, you know, 50, 60 goodie bags a week. Um, in addition to the Etsy shop, because I already dish out, you know, between 20 and 50 goodie bags a week. Um, more on a good week, obviously, and less on a bad week. Um, but everything would be invoiced through Etsy because I, that's how I started it. Uh, not last year, but the year before. That's how I started it was with the, the Etsy invoicing. And I was playing around and moving around and trying different avenues and whatnot. But I think I'm really going to just stick with the Etsy one because it is, it's all on one platform. And because like when we're doing our taxes this year, I have to pull from PayPal, the Square and Etsy <laughs> because I was all over the place last year. But this year, if we do the YouTube sales again or the live sales again, um, I will be invoicing on my Etsy shop. And if you've ever done a custom order from me, then you know what that means. It just means I'm going to put custom order and I'm going to put your initials. That's it. And then it'll have the amount due. That's it. Uh, no detailed invoice, nothing like that. I think you need something else. You want to put a sailboat? Let's put a sailboat right there. Um, and I think how we're going to do this is um, there is a beautiful lady. So, so sweet. She um, does Facebook sales. Uh, her name is Esme. And her group is called Crafty Me Shop. And she is just such a sweet lady. And like I said, I don't think she watches my channel. I don't think she um, really knows who I am outside of, you know, her group. Uh, because she's very busy. And I get that. I get that. Trust me. I get that. Um, but anyway, she is actually the one that inspired me to go more minimalistic. Because she has to. Because she gets like, you know, 50, 60 orders a week through one sale. And so, I'm just like, all right. And i like taking notes and this, that, and another. And not really taking notes, but kind of mental notes. Um, she has a lot of helpers for one, which is, well, it's helpful. Um, and so I was thinking about going, kind of taking a page out of her book and doing something similar, similarly like that. If that's how you say that, I'm not sure. But basically there is a piece of paper with the numbers one through, she normally does 50, one through 50. And every item has a price. And there's my mail. Every item has a price. 
and basically you put your name on the piece of paper, you write number one, I don't know, $3.50 and tack, 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 tack for however many you want. Um, and I has mail. Boop, boop. So anyway, and it just, it makes more logical sense to me to do things. There's some, there's a phrase that I absolutely love. I teach it to my kids. I teach it to my friends. I'll teach it to anyone who will listen. And it is work smarter, not harder. And I just, I strongly believe that. And with the YouTube sales or however sales I'm going to do it, I'm not sure if we're going to come back to YouTube or if we're going to do Facebook. I don't know. But however we decide to do the live sales, we're going to do that. We're going to work smarter, not harder. I'm going to have someone helping me, whether it's my husband or one of my, um, my older kids. Honestly, Sydney could probably help. But whatever the case may be, my, my lady's still sitting out there. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, whatever the case may be. Oh, she left now. I guess she forgot something. I'm going to, I'm going to do that, you know, work smarter, not harder. Makes sense, right? And so the invoicing will be very minimalistic. The packaging will be minimalistic. Obviously it'll be safe for your items. I'm not just going to like willy nilly throw a concrete brick in with, you know, glass beads because I'm not that mean. I'm not nice, but I'm not mean either. I'm honest. And some people don't know the differentiation between honest and mean. Oh, that one's broken. I can use that in personal stuff, but uh, anywho. Uh, so what do you guys think? Are you guys excited? Like, do you want me to do YouTube sales? And if you guys aren't familiar with what that is, because I know I have a lot, I have a lot of new subscribers that have only just started coming in because I started doing videos. Um, what a YouTube sale is, is I will go live and for however long, an hour, two, four, whatevs, um, I will basically be selling items. Kind of like I do on my Etsy shop, but different. So I was thinking like the first time that we do it, we'll do, you know, items one through whatever, but they'll all be one, one type of item. For instance, all be doilies or all be lace or all be napkins. I don't have enough doilies that are not in my shop to do that. So doilies are not going to probably ever be on my YouTube. Um, I said probably. I mean, there's, there's a chance that they could appear, but I doubt it. Um, it will most likely be napkins and lace. Or at least for a little while. And we are probably not going to do sales every week. It, I don't know. I really don't. I think it just really depends on you guys. Because if you show up, then obviously that means that you guys like it and we'll keep doing it. But if no one shows up, then obviously that means you don't like it and we're not going to keep doing it. And we're just going to say, okay, well, that worked and, or rather didn't work and call it a day. So we actually just did that entire packet of nautical stuff. So I have this huge pile. Um, once it dries, I will be able to kind of implement the stuff into the goody goodies. Mm. I don't know if I have one quite big enough in this pile to fit this flower. I have bigger, I have bigger, biggie, bigger, they're not, I have bigger ones, but not in this particular bucket. So this bucket is actually just 
Oh, that one might work. This bucket is actually just like a bunch of minis. Um, and I do have these on the shop. Um, one ounce bags, which is approximately this much. <laughs> it's like, that's a lot. Um, and it's approximate. I did make the bags up a few days ago. So, but anyway, um, now that I have been rambling on forever, what is this? Like a 35 minute video. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, or at least enjoyed me yapping away in it. Um, and let me know what you think about all the different things that we talked about today. So I am curious and, um, thank you guys so much for watching and remember just be an honest person, support one another, love each other and love yourself. So thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.